Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. We like to feel superior to the people who lived centuries ago, what with their shitty mud huts and curing colds by drilling a hole in their skulls. But we have to give them credit. They left behind some artifacts that have left the smartest of modern scientists scratching their heads. Number 8. Konark Sun Temple, India The Konark Sun Temple is a well-known temple located in Odisha, an eastern state of India. This temple has been referred to as the Black Pagoda by European sailors, who marked it out as a prominent landmark during their voyages along the eastern coast of India. Constructed in the 13th century, the temple is designed as a chariot with 24 wheels pulled by seven horses. Part of the temple structure was collapsed or destroyed during the 17th century. It is believed that the collapsed structure had a 52-ton magnet at its top. The magnet caused the main statue, or idol, to levitate in the air. The wheels of the temple are sundials. Precise time can be calculated by the shadow cast of the spokes. Imagine how much time and coordination would have happened between the astronomers, engineers, and sculptors to create something like this 750 years ago. Number 7. Baalbek, Lebanon As early as 9000 BC, Baalbek was a place for worship and became a cornerstone of ancient civilizations. Located in modern-day Lebanon, the ruins stand tall as an archaeological wonder with towering monuments and impressive columns. The sheer magnitude of these have created something of a puzzle for archaeologists as they continuously theorize as to how rocks of this grandeur could have been carved and assembled. For example, the Temple of Jupiter is surrounded by 54 columns, which stand at nearly 23 meters high and are considered some of the largest in the world. The Stone of the South at Baalbek, Lebanon is the largest worked monolith on Earth weighing in at a staggering 1,242 tons. It is even heavier than the stone of the pregnant woman, which weighs an estimated 1,000 tons that sits on the other side of the road in the quarry. Virtually every stone involved at Baalbek is impossible to put into place 10,000 years ago, and yet here they all are, still standing. To even further complicate the enigma of Baalbek, the accuracy of the stone fitting is remarkable. Michel Alouf, the former curator of the ruins, once said, In spite of their immense size, they are so accurately placed in position and so carefully joined that it is almost impossible to insert a needle between them. Number 6. Brihadiswar Temple, India Constructed in 1010 CE, the temple is located in Tanjore, India. It is one of the largest temples in India. Approximately 130,000 tons of granite was used in the construction. The Kumban, round apex structure, is carved from a single granite rock weighing 80 tons. The Vimanam, temple tower, is 216 feet high. Now, how the workers 1,000 years ago managed to lift an 80-ton carved stone this high without any cranes or lifting machines still remains a mystery. Number 5. Petra It is believed that the ancient, mysterious, and hauntingly beautiful site of Petra in Jordan has been inhabited, in one way or another, for approximately 9,000 years. Although its existence was kept secret from the modern West until 1812, when Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt rediscovered it and revealed its magnificence to the world. The true mystery of Petra, the lost city, is just how little is known about its history, although this is likely to change as each year new studies and excavations slowly reveal the secrets of the place. Evidence of Neolithic habitation of Jordan and Petra in the form of six ascending rows of dwellings have been discovered near Baida and suggests that it may be one of the oldest recorded known sites of human habitation in the world. Number 4. Padmanabhaswami Temple, Kerala The Padmanabhaswami Temple is one of India's most popular and most sacred temples. Located in Thiruvananthapuram in Kerala, India, it is one of the most visited temples in the country. The shrine is currently run by a trust headed by the royal family of Travancore. The temple and its assets belonged to Lord Padmanabhaswamy and the Travancore royal family. In 2011, Sundar Rajan has filed a case to the Supreme Court appealing that the Travancore royal family has mismanaged the assets of the Padmanabhaswamy temple. As a result of the proceedings, the Supreme Court appointed a seven-member committee to explore the temple and document its many belongings. 
What they discovered were six enormous secret vaults that appeared to house many of the temple's treasures. The doors were made of iron and lack locks, hatches, or any form of openings. This is what made the chambers very mysterious, even to the eyes of the public. Upon opening, the temple appears to have at least $22 billion worth of golden idols, elephants, necklaces, and coins. They also discovered an assortment of jewels, ceremonial costumes, and solid gold coconut shells studded with jewels. The most impressive of the gems were large diamonds, some of which were even 110 carats. Some archaeologists and gemologists estimated that a small gold idol of Vishnu from the temple could very well easily cost $30 million. With exceptional difficulty, all but one of the six vaults were accessed, the mysterious Chamber B. No one knows what lies beyond its gates. It is said that the chamber is holy in nature, as it houses an idol of Sri Padmanabha and many valuables of mystic origins. It is said that the chamber may very well have walls of solid gold. It may even contain the largest undiscovered treasure in world history. Unfortunately, the only thing people have seen is its gates, guarded by two enormous embossed cobras. In fact, aside from these, the steel door of Chamber B does not have bolts, latches, or other means of entry. It is said that any human attempts made with technology to open the door will unleash an unspeakable calamity in the city. Some even say opening the door against its will can release unspeakable horrors throughout India and perhaps the rest of the world. The only way to safely enter the vault would be if a Hindu priest or saint performed a sacred rite known as Garuda Mantra. The only problem is there is no one alive who knows how to do it. The urban legend surrounding the Padmanabhaswamy temple begins with the seven-member committee. It is said that some of the members have fallen ill while trying to open Chamber B. Another member apparently lost his mother while investigating the temple's hidden treasure. Sundar Rajan, the one who filed the case to reassess the temple's treasures in the first place, also died a few years later. Number 3. Kailasa Temple, India The actual date of construction of this temple is unknown. Inscriptions on the walls date back to the 8th century. The temple is located in the caves of Ellora, India. This temple is a megalith, meaning the whole temple is carved out from a single rock. It could only have been constructed by the vertical excavation method. Sculptors started at the top of the rock and excavated downwards. The temple is twice the area of the Parthenon in Greece and 50% taller. It has the largest cantilevered rock ceiling in the world. Approximately 400,000 tons of rock had to be removed from the site while carving this temple. Now, how exactly the workers, thousands of years ago, using only hammers, chisels, and picks, managed to carve out such a massive temple from a single rock still remains a mystery. Number 2. Kofun, Japan The landscape of Japan hides many typical ancient megastructures that are not found in this form in any other part of the world. They are called Kofun, which means ancient mound tomb or ancient grave in Japanese and related languages. From the ground, large kofun often look like just another hill or mountain, but from the air, their particular keyhole shape can be seen. A keyhole-shaped kofun is typically a tumulus divided in a part where the royal was buried, the round part of the keyhole, and a space for the performance of rituals. Kofun are thought to have been built between the 3rd and 7th century AD. The stories of their construction are similar to those of the Egyptian pyramids and other ancient megastructures. It took thousands of workers several years to build them. This geometric structure that NASA's Curiosity rover located on Mars is very similar to the ancient structure that still remains in Japan to this day. We don't really know enough about either structure to determine if there is a link. It could well be that this similarity is just a coincidence, but it warrants further study and is worth keeping an eye out to see what else is uncovered on Mars. Number 1. Vera Bhadra Temple, India for most of the world, the word miracle brings to mind images of marvelous phenomena occurring with supernatural intervention and involving mystical mysteries. But in India, it is just another daily trend with miracles. One such spectacle of Indian history to ponder over is the hanging pillar at the Virabhadra Temple in Lapakshi, constructed in the 16th century. The temple has around 70 pillars supporting the roof. However, one corner pillar in the hall does not rest on the ground. 
In 1910 CE, a British engineer tried to uncover the secret of the hanging pillar. He managed to make a corner of the pillar touch the ground, but this made the ceiling to misalign and distorted the fresco paintings. And then there is a large footprint on a stone in the temple. The footprint is three feet long, and a trickle of water always flows into it from underground, keeping it wet. What creature must have had three foot long feet? Is there a Bigfoot in 16th century? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.